Okay, hello Facebook Live. I'm always confused for a hot minute because I always wonder, I'm gonna get closer to the screen so I can see. And you can see my eye. It looks kind of terrible today, but it'll get better. It's getting better. The gravity's pulling it the other direction and soon the gravity will pull it away and it'll be gone. Hey Jessica, as you tune on, let me know that you're on. I've got some super, super, super exciting news to share. I'm gonna be doing a fun little giveaway at the end, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And friends, do you ever have those days? Well, first of all, if you're seeing this, let me know where you're tuning in from. If you're from Florida, our prayers are with you. What a crazy, crazy situation down there. Uh, my heart goes out to those that have been affected by that or that are still without power. Prayers for you, friends. Uh, Florida holds a special place in my heart for sure. Okay, so exciting news. First and foremost, comment below. Let me know where you're from and share this video. Let's share it. Let's get the word out. Let's get excited today because I've got some exciting news to share. And the more people that see this, the more lives that are going to be changed. Okay, so have you ever had those days? And as soon as I say this, I know you're going to relate to this. Do you ever have those days? I don't even know if I can sit down. I know. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying this. Uh, do you ever have those days where you're just like, forget the hair. Forget it. Like I like, have that day every day. I know. Yes. I was forget say, the hair. As soon as I say yes, that. Yes, every I, day. I know you're going to say, I totally can relate to that. All right. So, so my hair is terrible. I went to bed last night with it wet. I try to flat iron it. And if I turn around, it looks like somebody like. Why would you do that? Oh, what like, do you mean? Nobody can see the back of your head when you're just looking here talking. You I mean, have to I, show I, them how you to. Were, you, you weren't watching me. I'm it's trying right, to share right this right on the mom's face. It's right here. I got this big old hole in the back of my head. And then I like try to like um, back brush it. Is that what they say? You're asking me. <laughs> I try to back brush it and then gives me that little hump back there. And it looks terrible today. So you know what, friends? I'm just going with it. And do you see this right here? Hot Mess Express. I'm just going to. You're, that's a that's a great little yeah, screen. Yeah, exactly. Okay. No, so funny. Get he, off my phone. He he just did a little screen share, and it shows the most amazing, not so amazing. Um, what do you call that? Preview. Preview. Okay, so that's when you just put your sunglasses here, and you put your hair up in a messy bun, and you just call it good, or you just leave it down and say, "Who cares? Who cares?" Okay, so as you're tuning in, let me know that you're on. I know it's kind of a weird time during the day on Friday, but I promised you that I was going to be doing a fun little giveaway if we reach our thousand downloads. Well, friends, if you caught my live yesterday, guess what we had? A thousand downloads yesterday! Ah! It was literally less than 24 hours we had a thousand downloads. How crazy is that? Again, so honored that you all encouraged me, walked alongside of me and said, Lori, just put a cookbook out. I was like, you don't understand. I'm just a crazy busy mom with four amazing crazy kiddos. I, I don't write cookbooks. And you encouraged me and I just, I'm so incredibly grateful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. My next goal was 2000 and I got the numbers guy here with me and, and, and soon you'll find out who my guest is. But I have the numbers guy right here with me. So uh, how many downloads do you think we're at now? I don't know. I really feel like the need to balance your energy out. Like, <laughs> holy crap. Are you okay? I am. Now I know why. There's blood vessels bursting in your eyes. <laughs> okay. So I, 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 I don't even know what to say to that. Okay. I, I think we're at about 1,500 downloads. Yes. All right. So 1,500 downloads. We didn't quite make the 2,000, but friends, I'm so excited about the 1,500. If you haven't gotten yours, go grab it now. Um, we'll put the link in the comments below, but you scroll down a couple, you're going to find the link there too. But, um, again, so honored to be able to put this cookbook together for you. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? So thank you so very, so very, very much. Okay. I have a huge, exciting, ex exciting, exciting, exciting announcement for you. And I have a guest with me today. I'm the guest woman. He's the guest. He's the best. He's the best guest ever. So this is my incredible husband, Quentin Conway. Mm. Um, you're amazing, babe. I truly am. You I are. Really do, yes, yeah. yes. He is amazing. Um, I shouted him out. I don't know if you watched my live yesterday or not. Believe it or not, he probably doesn't just sit and watch my lives while he's um, no, because I'm busy sharing them all. Time. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Thank you. But he probably doesn't watch them. I know. I know. Barely get to crawl out the of the cage that she keeps me in in the basement. Oh, what? <laughs> She's like throwing me a piece. Here's a piece of beef jerky. Eat that and share this. Make that cookbook. Here's some crazy busy mama beef jerky. 
That's a good idea. No. That's a really good idea. No. Okay, so not even true. Um, you can sense the sarcasm there. That's why I love him so much. You never know what to expect. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, so we have some really exciting news, or I do. And I asked him to come alongside with me today on this live because I wanted kind of a man's perspective on it and somebody that's not so hype, hype, hype all the time. And I know um, I've heard, I can't even sit down. I can't sit yeah, down. Yeah, it's really, really bad. Isn't so it? here's the fun thing is when I go live, you usually see this like bubbly, in, you know, like encouraging, excited person because that's who I am. That's truly who I am. Do I have my off days? Uh, yeah, I totally do. But, but this is gonna balance us out. And I wanted to get his perspective on this because I didn't wanna just hear me from like the raw, 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 raw kind of cheer on this. You know, if you've been following me for a while, what did you just say? That's four raws. Raw, 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 raw. And spirit fingers. And raw. Raw, 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 and raw. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay, so anyway, raw, raw, or not no raw, raw. Um, I'm excited to put out a challenge for you all for the month of October. I've never done anything like this before. That's not true. And I'm not afraid. Well, that's not what true. I think you're lying to the, your audience right now. What am I lying about? You have put out challenges before. Okay, I've put out challenges before. But not this challenge. You did uh, Thankful Thanksgiving. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you weren't following me last November for November Gratitude. Oh, see, you didn't want this guest because he's. I do I, want this guest. He keeps me honest. He keeps me like grounded and balanced, I'll right? I'll mess with you. Get back on topic. So, November doing? is the month of gratitude. You'll want to stay tuned for that because I always do something fun for November, but I've never done anything like this before. This is brand spanking new, and it was a thought that came to me literally in the middle of the night. Is that why your eye burst? Right. <laughs> In the middle of my, uh, on the middle of the night, my eyes just boop, bopped open. I'm like, oh, I have the best of ideas, Quentin, I have to share with you. Well, you haven't even shared it with me. No, I haven't. Okay, no, I have. No, you said, let's go live. And I said, well, what are we going to talk about? And you said, do you want to know or do you just want to go live? And I was like, we'll just go live. Okay, we'll just go live. But I think he knows because I talked to him about it the other day. He probably just doesn't know I'm doing it as a challenge. And here's the thing. Here's the fun, 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 fun thing. How many times did I say that? I don't know. Too many. All right, so here's the thing. This month, the month of October... Well, as in tomorrow, I'm going to be offering this free challenge. It doesn't cost you a dime. It may take some investment, but financially, money-wise, it didn't cost you nada, nothing. It's actually, honestly, it's probably going to save you money. And here's the challenge. You know my heart's desire of starting reels and doing crazy busy mama videos on TikTok. If you followed me there, I did all that previous to kind of showcasing them all on Facebook. Facebook's always been my preferred platform because I just love to be able to communicate and grow, grow that community. So appreciate that. Um, so I have been, I don't know, had this passion within me fueling. Are you making faces at me? No. To, to create quick and easy recipes to be able to reclaim the dinner time table with your family. It is my heart's passion to bring families back around the table again. We are so busy in this world mm -hmm. today that we often don't spend the intentional time with one another. Every day kind of creeps by and we wonder where the last week's gone or, oh my gosh, it's Friday again, or, oh my gosh, it's Monday again, probably more real, real like it. Um, and we don't take the time to slow down and be intentional with you each other. You don't take the time to slow down? No, no, huh. I often don't. That's weird. And then I look back and I'm sad. And I wish I would have embraced it a little bit more. And I wished I would have like embraced the chaos. Life's crazy, but just embrace it as it is. Yeah. So my heart's desire is to reclaim the dinner time table with families, with my family. But I thought, you know what? I know there's other moms out there and potentially dads, which you're going to hear from here in a minute. And I know there are other mommies and daddies out there that want to reclaim and have that intentional time with their family each and every day amidst the chaos. I know it's possible. I know from a female's mom's perspective, that is where I get like, that's, that's like my favorite time of the day. It used to be the worst time of the day because it was so stressful and so hard to put all these things together and know that I'm making every meal and everything has to be on the table at once. That's hot. You know, that's a, that's a trick. That's, that's, that's a hack for you. Um, trying to get all dinner time items on the table when they're hot and ready to go. And, um, it's just my heart's passion to reclaim the dinner time table because it does bring such a different dynamic to your family. And so many of us are on our phones. I don't have my phone on our phones. Um, have a device are around the TV not on and our this, table. 
yeah, not at our table. And, and so I just want to be able to share kind of a glimpse of what that looks like. Not to say that we're perfect every night. Our lives are busier and busier each and every season. And I swear, I lie to myself every season and say the next season is going to be a little easier. And it's just a little different with different twists and turns. And so my heart's passion is to reclaim the dinner time table with your family, with my family, and show you how we're doing that in a tangible way and what kind of difference it can make. So my challenge to you, here's a challenge. All this to say this. My challenge is we're going to use the hashtag, hashtag reclaim the table. And we want to be really loud about this. And you can, you can even hashtag either crazy. Reclaim the table! Reclaim the table! Oh, that's you how get excited. Meant. You didn't mean that kind of loud? Yeah, yeah. We're going to get loud. <laughs> okay. I love that. That's so good. That's so good. Hashtag reclaim the table. Hashtag crazy busy mama if you want M-A-M-A -A or C-B-M. C-B-M, crazy busy mama. We're going to hashtag this so we can create a community around it on Facebook because that's why I love Facebook. It helps to create that community. And the, the challenge is this. It's free. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it's going to make you invest into those most so what exactly is important this you're just challenging people to sit down and have dinner? I am. And take a picture of it. You didn't say that. Oh, that would be a good idea. Well, then what the heck are they hashtagging? They're going to hashtag reclaim the dinner, reclaim the table hashtag with a picture. reclaim the or, table and a picture of your table. Or, Crazy or, Mars, or a recipe or your sweet family having dinner together. I don't care if it's on a pop-up table. I don't care can if I it's reclaim the a table? tailgate table Listen, at the ball can field. Can I reclaim the table outside of Culver's? Huh? I mean, yeah, you can totally. You can do it at Culver's too. You know what I'm talking you. about? I don't know that I know. That's when we sit down and we eat. We go to Culver's. Oh, I know we have the a certain table. table. Oh, the outside table. Come on, woman. I gotcha. I gotcha. Outside. Okay. You weren't uh, listening. The outside well, table. You're, you're I, I don't focusing know. Now? I'm not focusing. Okay, let talking? me get my focus back. Okay, so my passion is to reclaim the dinner time table and to get really loud about it, like he just did a minute ago, on a hashtag style. Reclaim the table because I believe, I sincerely believe in the depths of all depths of me that when you reclaim the dinner time table with your family, you spend intentional time together as a family unit, even if it's for 15 minutes, I don't even care. And just sit and look at each other without devices and eat and share a meal together. Oh my gosh magic happens like those relationships start to deepen you start to hear conversations you haven't heard before and so my challenge for the month of october is to pick however many days a week you want to do this if you're new to this maybe it's a few days a week if you're a pro at this and you've slacked off on it maybe it's to up it up you know up it up to up it up a couple of times each and every week um Find a table, find a, a dinner time that works for you. Um, it may be 4.30, it may be 9. So my perspective is I want to, to hold on to all those sweet, sweet minutes of the day and not be a crazy, angry mama. You know what I mean? Like a crabby mama that just is... She's an angry elf. <laughs> She's an angry elf. That's funny, Quentin. So I don't want to be that mom. I want to be the mom to be able to spend intentional time around the dinner time. Uh, Dinner time table with my kids. So, so here's a man. Here's so, a man's perspective. What's, what am I supposed to give a perspective? I don't on? know. Just whatever you want, babe. Why is it so important, hey, Quentin? Yes. Now we go. Why has it been so important? Honestly, it's not just for me. I feel like it's been important for you too. Yeah, I'm messing with you. Uh, you know I'm messing. I know. With you. But so, why is it so important to you? Because we live in absolute chaos. I mean, if you. Are y'all exhausted from listening to her talk? Can you I mean, this is y'all, y'all yeah. exhausted, right? So like we have four kiddos, four, each of them are in 8,000 activities. I'm pretty sure. So that's 32,000 activities that we're doing. It's good math. Good math. Thank you. That we're doing a week. And so honestly, like all, all crazy aside, like sitting around this expensive hunk of wood is the one time where we're all, and we do have a really hard rule about no devices. We don't have the TV on. Um, and it's really kind of interesting. Like we have, the, there's like this, uh, magic 15 rule out there that exists that if you spend, um, 15 minutes or more with your kids, you'll be amazed at the things, the conversation that arises that your kids will tell you, they will speak to you in ways that you're not, um, not accustomed to. There's something magical about 15 minutes of, of, of undistracted time, undistracted time, yeah. when human contact time yeah. when we're not getting all these other things that you're, you, it's funny because 
Uh, we have very different kids. We have, uh, it's amazing. This is why I know that, that God has a sense of humor is that when I, before we had kids, I said, <laughs> we're going to be like 97% nature or nurture and, and 3% uh, nature. And we're going to teach our kids to do this. And they're going to be like this. And they're always going to listen. Yeah. And now that yeah. we have kids um, and they're all so uniquely programmed yeah. out of the womb, I am like, we, it's like 99.9% nature god made them and you get like 0.01 percent the mold that's mm -hmm. a, i mean it's it's way more than that but it's interesting how uniquely different they are and so what what's kind of interesting we see around the table a lot is even even when dinners are frantic and rushed and that happens a lot because we have a lot of activities um it's almost like they'll fight for an opportunity to talk like it doesn't start that way but somebody will start sharing a story and yep. this happened at football and then all oh, that drama this happened then well this so-and-so said this to me today yeah. in class and and they're talking over each other and so it didn't it's start like it. that way in, in what i've also found uh, the, another thing that I'll, I'll advocate for this because i i'm gonna give you a hard time but i, I agree i'm a hundred percent on board with this reclaim the table is ex extremely important because um these kids I don't know if any of you are familiar with the five love languages out there. Uh, Chapman wrote a book called The Five Love Languages. You can learn about yourself and it can be physical touch or quality time or acts of service. I don't, I don't go into all of them, but I, there's an old saying out there that um, kids have one, one love language. love language and it's what? Quality, quality time. time. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. And so and the along time that we with that comes a lot of guilt from moms. The time that we spend around this table is invaluable. We talk about things probably at our dinner table that a lot of people don't. Um, some uncomfortable stuff, yeah. like the things that the kids are going through, our oldest to our youngest, we have 18 to 12. And so the 12 year old is getting to learn some of the uncomfortable conversations that we have with the 18 year old or the 16 year old or the 14 year old. So this is a big, and, and what we're hoping to do is create a fi family dynamic that as these kids grow up, they're dependent on each other, not just mom and dad. Yeah. Like our goal is we want our kids to be good friends as they grow up and they get older. And I think a lot of that starts with, again, we live very, very distracted and busy lives. We have a big old house. And so one kid will go to one room, one kid will go to one, and the, they don't even see each other, right? And so, but when we come together on this table, the community, um, the camaraderie, the engagement, and, the value. You know, and sometimes it'll be, you know, somebody will be off. Inevitably, every day somebody's off, right? Yeah. And so then we're drilling into why you're off, and oh, well, I've been through that. Oh, I remember that test. You know, when, when that test we had to do that, or that teacher was hard on me too. And this is what we had to do. And there's a lot, a lot of things that happen around the dinner table that are invaluable, and you can't re uh, replicate. And so. Uh, I think it's an interesting challenge. I commend you. I think you're doing a good job. Um, and what I would encourage all of you is to, to, to hop on board with that because there's a plenty of negativity on social media. I mean, just follow my wife and you'll see all the negative Nancy's <laughs> that are constantly commenting on her stuff. It's unbelievable to me. Um, but what you should do is try to combat some of that in your sphere of the world, that little yeah. bit of negativity with some positivity yeah. and just say, Hey, hashtag reclaim the table, crazy busy mom, whatever you're doing, CBM, um, share some pictures. Like let's start a trend of yeah. like, hey, let's just sit down and be a family. There is a war and I could really go off on a tangent that you don't want me to a war against the family unit going on in America. And I, I, I know that it's my wife's heart. It's my heart as well. The family is where everything starts. The family is the soil in which everything grows from. And so we, we, we believe very strongly in the importance of that family unit. And that starts sometimes with as simple as sitting around at a dinner table and sharing a meal. And I know, believe me, I know, you can't do that every single day. <laughs> you can't do that every right. single day. Uh, but it's very rare, very rare that we don't have a family meal like this morning, everyone was around the table for breakfast. Yeah. Um, tonight's a football game, so we won't have that. Although yeah. we'll come home from football and stuff our we'll faces. We'll have a with midnight something. meal. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, so we got up early and we had uh, a, a breakfast together. So uh, I just, I, I'm telling you that the, the world is out there trying to, to yeah. tear apart your kids and they're yeah. trying to tear apart your family. Yeah. And one of the biggest weapons that you can mount up against them is sitting down, spending quality time, yeah. sharing communicating, loving, so being hard on them, whatever you got to do, sit around that table. It's a lot of it starts there. So it's free. It's free. And that's the best word ever. Okay. So people are like, what's it going to cost me? You know, it's going to cost you some time, but it won't cost you a dime. And that's a rhyme. <laughs> I can like make
make a wrath out of that. It's going to cost you no, time. No. Not going to cost you a dime. No. But you know what? It might save you a dime. Because think about this. Take it from you know an extended point of view of a mom. Like, okay, you're trying to get all this stuff together for the dinner table. It's stressful, mamas. I get it. Um, it, can, it can be by far the most stressful time of the day. But don't allow that to creep into your mind that you can't do it. You are possible through Christ who gives you strength. Like I believe there is a war against the family. And I feel that like sometimes it's the simple things that combat that. The simple intentionality in your day. The simpleness of, hey, we're not going to be able to have dinner tonight, but let's wake up 15 minutes more early. I'm going to sit with you while you eat your cereal and chat with you device-free. It's that undistracted time together that truly makes the difference. So I, friends, I hope you go all in with me. And maybe your all in is different than my all in. Maybe my all in is seven days a week. I'm a champ. Like, I'm a superhero when it comes to this, which I'm not, but... My desire is to be seven days a week, every meal, but that's just not possible. So to think about what's possible for you and then up the ante, you know, like think about like, okay, if you're doing that once a week, can you do it twice a week? Think about the invested time is an investment into your future. It truly is the foundation for your family for generations to come. Cause I could share this too and I won't share all of it, but um, you know, cause it's alive and you probably didn't hop on to be on here for an hour, but we grew up around the dinner table. We grew up, my mom cooked meals. We grew up around the dinner table. And so many of those conversations took place around our dinner table. And it became such an importance to me. When we got married, before kids, we would sit around the dinner table. Would we not? You remember our little apartment, William Joel? Yeah. Our little hitchin? Uh, our, we had a hitchin. Our, our first apartment when we, before we got married, or when we got married, yeah. was 400 square feet. Yeah. That, little, that included everything. A little hitchin. And our side table that had like a leaf yeah. that dropped. You, I, I remember our... Um, I can remember our anniversary. Okay, focus, I can focus, be always focus, 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 okay. Well, we'd sit at that table. We wouldn't sit around the TV. You know what I mean? Because we wanted to be able to spend intentional time together, share a meal. There's something magical about eating and communing together um, that just brings out uh, um, value and brings out a comfort. It's like you're feeding your comfort and you become comfortable around those people. It's interesting because I grew up the opposite of that. Um, I grew up from a, with a single mom who worked her butt off all the time. And so my dinners each night were spent out of a can in front of a TV. Yeah. And so uh, it's interesting that two people that are so dramatically different from a, a meal perspective can share the same common goal. But um, I, again, I think you're, you've got a long live going on here. And so if we want to summarize this, the, the big announcement is, hey, let's really focus on the month of October on doing hashtag reclaim the table, hashtag CBM or crazy busy mama. Um, share some photos, put some positivity out there on, on socials, whatever it is, you know, step out of your comfort zone, snap a picture with your kids. We get a lot of those pictures yeah. and it's kind of nice Yeah. because uh, it is important to my wife. It, that's, you know, yeah, she made a cookbook and it costs four ninety nine, and, oh, she's trying to make money on this and that. Yeah, she is because um, she's, she's amazing and she supports a, a big old family. Um, but at the same time, that all rooted from a passion inside yeah. of her heart. Uh, to really make an impact on families and one of the biggest ways that she found that she could do that was helping people create recipes in 30 minutes or less and so um, we all know how stressful that can be yeah. uh, all of us even yes. dads you know or, or single dads or married dads or uh, uh, stay-at-home dads right you you too she's just a mom people get bent out of shape times about that I don't know guys stop being bent out of shape about crazy busy mama you can be a crazy busy daddy too. You can be uh, a crazy busy anybody. But that was her heart's yeah. passion was like, hey, what? how can I impact the world around me? Let me help make recipes. And then it, we're not we're not the health recipe book, guys. We're not the health recipe reels. It's just, we're trying real to Real life. You. Yeah, real Get life. Get dinner on the table. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes that means yeah. we're going to wrap Doritos and chickens and air fry them and sit down and eat. And that's how, that's how we roll. And, and sometimes so, because of that intentional time around the dinner table, we literally leave it on the table and leave. Yeah. It's more important for us to come around the table together yeah. and leave it if we have to than to say we're not going to sit down because we don't have time to clean up. Would you Would you say yes to that? It's not real common. We usually, we, we got usually a small army There's here. There's six of us. Uh, yeah, pick so, your own stuff so up. So it's like everybody pick your stuff up and pick something else up. Mm -hmm. Most of the tables clean up, but yes. But the point is stop looking for reasons why not and start looking for reasons why. Yeah. When you invest, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, fruit that is produced. And it's something that lays a foundational, um, just foundation, that will build from generation to generation. A foundational, a foundational foundation. foundation is important. <laughs> 
All right, I think you have a, a foundational foundation. Okay, giveaway. I had several notes, so I didn't like squirrel, squirrel, yeah, squirrel. Okay, it. I do have a fun giveaway, which I already did it, and I already put it on this little posty here. I'm going to show in a minute. But the fun little giveaway, it. I know, but they couldn't read it I'm unless somebody's it. like zooming in and screenshotting. Which you want to try? Want to try? <laughs> I'm always hey, up for hey, hey, I'm always up for a challenge. Okay, so um, we downloaded 1,500 crazy busy mama 30 meals and 30 minute cookbook and because of that i want to say thank you it's our first stab, stab, at, it. It's first our first stab yeah. at it and um i put it together and i was defeated you know the whole story and put it's it together progress, and not stop. Perfection. It's, progress it's progress not perfection. perfection and this guy yeah. made it possible to be able to send out digitally which i'm so so yeah. incredibly grateful hey, for i can fix things i cannot do tech things so <laughs> that was an interesting thing so we appreciate your grace in the midst of all of that but i did do a fun little giveaway because we did make the thousand downloads and if we do two thousand by the end of the weekend i'm going to extend that i'll do another fun little giveaway but um okay so this one's for the for the downloads and you know i always do something fun for every little who are you, every who little are you live, waving at everybody that's on live i just want to wave everybody so comment and then share this, please, because you're going to be able to enter the giveaway for this particular live, because I do one every time, because my love language is what? It's gifts. It's 100%. gifts. 100% it's gifts. It's gifts. And so I want to be able to give back to you. So make sure you do that. I'll be doing that after the football game tonight. What is my love language? Your, your love language is acts of service. 100%. Yes. So, and words of affirmation. Oh, baby, you're so amazing. Yes. Can I wash your truck for you? When have you ever washed my truck? <laughs> Ever. I can bring it through the car wash. Get, yeah. get off me, Welcome morning. to the car wash. <laughs> okay, focus on your giveaway. Okay, so anyway, there's a fun little giveaway tonight. So if you're if you're just catching this, don't freak out. You're still in. You're still in for the drawing. You still could be really. I lucky. don't think anyone's freaking out. You just want to like share it, comment below. Let's get the word out. Hashtag reclaim the table and be loud about it. What'd you say? Reclaim the table. Reclaim the those pictures out hashtag it let me know that you've put them out so i can cheer you on too let's create a community here on facebook for this um i think it would change it's just hey it, just a small percentage focus, it would change the focus, world i'm focus. still focused it's going to change the world and so our winner for the digital downloads of a thousand for reaching our goal and we have one more goal <laughs> by the end of the weekend at 2000 if i do that i'll do another fun little giveaway but this is the winner for the thousand downloads win conway i don't even see it no it's gonna it be backwards. backwards so just see it's it. gonna be sarah mcclintock friend you are the winner for the visual downloads and um i have a fun little bacon wheel for you it is like hands down the best little bacon kitchen gadget <laughs> ever I am obsessed because it's I hate not frying. The best kitchen gadget ever. It's the best kitchen no, it's gadget not. ever. No, what, it's what do you think is the best kitchen gadget ever? The meat masher. I was gonna say this the one. Meat masher is. I talked about it yesterday in my life. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't follow you. He watched it. I don't follow you. He didn't follow me. I talked about that when I have like three of them in different colors because you yeah. know they're fun and one's always dirty because I use it all the time. Yeah. But this bacon wheel is hands down the best way to make your bacon in the microwave yes the microwave i said it not frying over a pan Why are you taking you, it up? i don't know i'm excited and i'm showing this so sarah mcclintock you are the winner for that but i'm gonna be doing another giveaway tonight let's get really loud so share and comment for that giveaway tonight and let's get what really loud no i'm not doing it yet come on no we've been on here for like two on. hours that's okay is it okay no. Is it okay? I said no. I'm trying to get close I to the can comments. Feel the so no. I can read you them. can't read the comments. I'm in. My table's covered with everything that used to be in my dining room. Hey, sit around it. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. What? You ready? No. It's progress over perfection, friend. What are we ready for? Reclaim the table. Reclaim the table. Join us in the challenge. Comment below. Say, I'm in. Hashtag reclaim the table. Get so excited about this because it's gonna change those amazing relationships in your family, the ones that are the very most important, and lay a foundation of foundations of generations to come. I promise you, it will change everything. Or just be reasonably excited and commit <laughs> to doing Reclaim the Table. Take a picture, share it on your socials, be like happy, this. stop yelling at people. Should we take a picture? No, we shouldn't. <laughs> Right. For real. I love you all. I so appreciate you. I don't even think I can reach no, I don't think that so. far. I don't think so. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you. Um, Carrie says no, no, one more no, time. No. Reclaim the table! No, you're, 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 you're,
Get off here. Reclaim the table! Reclaim the table.